All right, we're welcome back. back. We're yeah, we're right. Yeah, we made it back to where we were. It took a couple of minutes. Hopefully, this lightning asshole doesn't kill me again. I'm sure he's gonna try. <laughs> yeah, I would be disappointed if he didn't, and a little confused. <laughs> Maybe he just felt real bad about it last time. There we go. He didn't even try, did he? No, he was too quick for him. He's gone lazy. Yeah, he burned through that one. All right, now I'm past the shitty part of Sam's Fortress, and there's the guy who puts the boulders like it's his day job. Is that actually, there actually is a boulder guy? Yeah, there's a giant who puts boulders up there. Oh, I thought you were just, you know, going along with my fake backstory no. that I was making up. I'm dead serious. How the, <laughs> how the fuck did you know to do that? I've played through this game a lot. Oh, it, oh yeah, but like, there seems like very little chance that you would just kind of accidentally stumble on that. Yeah, I, I had to look it up, because I was sick of getting to the roof here, from the bottom there, and then dying, and you have to go through the whole trap maze oh. again. Mm. It is not as enjoyable as it sounds. <laughs> so I'm right. sure it sounds enjoyable. So, the other day I texted my mom, because I'm going to go meet her for dinner, and I texted her to say, my brother and his girlfriend are probably going to come as well. And so the text I got back from her was, that's good, Brett too, right? I was on a bit of a dry spell, but found some sunglasses. Ha <laughs> 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 So what the fuck were you trying to say, Mom? <laughs> I don't get it. And like, I read through this thing like eight times. <laughs> was on a bit of a dry spell, but Gosh. just found some sunglasses. <laughs> and I, I read this out to these guys last night, and they were like, the fuck does your mom, like, she... She's had a bit of a dry spell, and she found some sunglasses, and now she's gonna she's gonna bang Brett. <laughs> yeah, that was her. Because that was kind of how it was worded. <laughs> and so, like, I was like, "There's a typo in there somewhere." Like, not not just that. I assume my mom doesn't mean a dry spell <laughs> the way that <laughs> most people do. I I like to think that she is unaware of that phrase and its true meaning. And that when she said it, it was completely harmless. Did you ask her what she meant? Yeah, yeah, I did follow up. And she remind, She was just like, oh, don't you remember? Like, last summer, she found, like, six different pairs of sunglasses just walking around. So she was on a dry spell of finding sunglasses. <laughs> and then she found some, like, sunglasses on the sidewalk. The so. worst kind of dry spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a really big deal to not find sunglasses. <laughs> Holy fuck, look at all those boulders. Yeah. What does he do when he runs out? He doesn't. He has to go back to the bomb <laughs> and gather them, them all up. <laughs> <laughs> That's his life. He has to do that like four times uh, in his eight hour work day. Oh, no, I can't take that. There's something in there? Um, <clears throat> no, it's just like pretty much an elevator down to the bottom later on once you get a key can you can you go fight the boulder giant um i'm not sure how to get to that giant but there's another giant i can fight mm. which i definitely want to go into what the fuck was that now is that a that's, fire trap or no that's another giant who throws fireballs at you oh who i'm about to go kill because i thought maybe it was another dragon no he's just he's this guy oh Bigger than I expected. <laughs> yeah. So the technique for defeating this guy is pretty much just wait until he does that attack because he lies down. <laughs> yeah, he really tuckered himself out. He gets tired. Oh. Oh, he does have a health bar. He just doesn't get like a, a boss health bar. Yeah, no, he's not. He's got a jiggly, boss. jiggly little tummy. <laughs> Yeah, Middle. so this isn't the most exciting fight in the world, <laughs> since I just hide here until he spazzes out. He's throwing a little temper tantrum. Yeah. He's just I want to smash the man. <laughs> the kid. <laughs> See, now he has a little pout where he sits down. <laughs> I just want to smash. Yeah. <laughs> and then he dies. He's just really like an infant. <laughs> Pretty much. What a whiner. And through there is the boss, who I'm not going to fight right now, because I need to get my homeboy, Iron Tarkus. Ooh. So you just kill the giants so that you're not getting fire rained on your head while you're trying to do other things? Yeah, well, I try to fight the boss, because... 
Oh, he can. The fire guy will be able to like reach you oh, during yeah. the boss fight. Jesus, Dark Souls, what do you expect? Yeah, fuck. And so if you, if you died, the the boss and that giant will respawn. Like you have to kill both no, every time. Um, that guy doesn't respawn. He's a oh respawn okay man. okay. That'd be such a pain in the ass if every time you had to like restart this boss battle, you had to do the full two step oh, process. That would be brutal. But I just like wouldn't even put it past this game because no, <laughs> it doesn't really cut you any slack. It's like oh Dark Souls. Oh damn it! I forgot to reverse my Halloween. Uh, are you gonna have to go back? Just to the bonfire. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just do a little loop to loop. <laughs> And this, you want to be unhollowed for the boss battle? Yeah, because you can only summon uh, the people to help you when you Oh. So now you're a human. Yeah, now I'm human. You should I'm take off your clothes so you I can... I was just thinking. <laughs> now you can see that see? sweet sculpted body. Chest hair. <laughs> we also I'm beautiful. We also made ourselves the paciest, pastiest <laughs> color possible. You kind of see a bit of blood handle starting to develop. Despite <laughs> all this monster killing, he's yeah, in great shape. I feel like he's got from some pretty sick traps or delts or what's the shoulder muscle? Um, and he's got big ones of those. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna wear my good helmet now since. Oh. Wearing a sack on my head was pretty shitty for defense. <laughs> <laughs> Were you just doing it because it was funny? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very, how confident of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this part, I wasn't too worried about taking a lot of damage, but like the next boss battle that comes up, I'll be taking a lot of damage. Mm. You need as many, uh, as much defense as possible. Because you will die. Did this one... The first time you fought this guy, was it like one of the tougher ones? One of the ones that took you like ages? Uh, not this guy. Oh wait, or, is, it, is this the one that you're just gonna hide in the corner? Yeah, the next guys, I meant. Oh, okay. It took me ages, and ages and ages. And even though I know how to beat them, they still take me ages, because they're just tough. <laughs> right. Did that guy respawn, or did you not kill him last time? This guy responds. Oops. How often, like... Him? Or, like, he's just a regular guy, so he responds every time you rested a bonfire. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I was thinking you hadn't, like, left the area you were in, and I thought that's when it would happen. There. No, it's every time you rested a bonfire, die. Oh, okay. Iron Targus. Yeah. He's pretty sweet. Whenever he decides to show up. Yeah, <laughs> it's taking him a while there. He's got a big-ass sword and big-ass shield. Cool. He's way tougher than I am. <laughs> so he's just with you now? Yeah, he will stick with me until like this boss battle's over. Is that is that how it works? If you were to not go fight fight this boss, how long would he stick with you? Um, I have no idea. I've never actually tried that before. Hmm. Man. Oh, he's an iron golem. So it makes sense that Iron Tarkus would no, maybe that doesn't make sense. Maybe you'd want, like, Rust Tarkus to take him on or something. something rusty Tarkus. Something, something... <laughs> Old Rusty. <laughs> something yeah. opposite of Iron. So now I kind of just hang back and enjoy the show. It seems like Tarkus has taken a lot more damage than the Golem has. Ah. Uh, well, maybe they're kind of on par. They'll just take each oh. other out. Ooh, the, now the I Golem think... just got woozy. Yeah. When the golems will be the best one I can help. <laughs> yeah, because that happens. Oh, fuck. Can he actually, like, fall on you? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. I wish I could stab him, though. You're stabbing his groin. <laughs> Go poke him in the, the dick a bit. A bit more. Poke him in the dick? That's how long we're going to Yeah, he was, like, sitting on the ground. He was poking up into his yeah. junk. Now Iron Tark has the advantage. Uh, <laughs> has the advantage, <laughs> and then he just gets hurled across Smash. the entire thing. Like, yeah, you can take a lot of punishment. Yeah, holy shit! Oh, don't fall off the edge there, bud. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't really like to do any dodging or anything, does he? No. Well, he's it, kind of a ghost, isn't he? His strategy is just to take all the force. I guess he's 
They called him a fan phantom. Yeah. Yeah, he's about to win this fight. That is a little bit like There we go. It's a pretty good advantage. <laughs> Alright. Thanks, Turkey. Wave goodbye. <laughs> no, no, no. Holy shit, you got so many souls. Yeah. Now now I get to go to Adderlondo. Because it's the tough, the tough place? Yeah, this is where it gets shitty. Oh, is there a cutscene? Yeah. It's kind of, kind of random, because you're just sitting there, and all of a sudden, these guys come and decide to be your bros. Your bros? They look like they're chomping on your shoulders. Yeah, no, they just carry up to the top of this mountain. They've got really bloody arms. Yeah, and then later on, you fight like a thousand of these guys, and they're so freaking annoying. They shoot lightning at you. I think I, I think I saw you play that part of the game once before. Yeah, Anarlando, it's pretty cool. That is cool. It's one of like the visually sweeter areas of the game. Mm hmm. This is really. Oh, it didn't seem that gentle. No. It's really strange where it decides to put cutscenes in, and. There's a lot of animals in this game that like to come fly you to different areas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Earlier like, in the game, a bird just kind of decided to pick me up and carry me. Yeah, it's not the first time it's happened. No, and now these fucking demon bats come. Hey, cool. That wasn't a guy? That was a statue or something? Well, that was a guy, but oh. I want to make sure I get to the bonfire, because otherwise I have to go back to Sen's fortress. Oh, oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. That, that guy, was he, was his back to you, or is he just slow? They just have, like, a really low, or a really small, like, activation radius or whatever. Okay. Like, you have to get right up close to them. Cool, another bonfire, another good place to stop. That was a nice, like, perfectly timed episode length. Nice.